What up guys, it's Ron again from Retroholics and today we're going to go ahead and do the spark plugs on my 240SX. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have to get uh, two spark plugs and remove the cold pack cover. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that first. So once you get the uh, coal pack cover off, the next thing you're going to want to do is take off the coal pack. So it's a 10 millimeter bolt. Once you take those off, the next thing you also want to do is remove the harness for each one. So let's just unplug them. Okay. And then once you have it fully off, you remove the coil pad. Uh, just a quick tip, if you remove them, just make sure you put them in a linear format so that you put the coal pack back into which cylinder it belonged to. Cut it. What you're going to do is you're going to get a uh, spark plug uh, socket. I'm using a 5 8 spark plug socket um, to remove the spark plugs so we're gonna go ahead and remove it okay. um, we're gonna do that throughout the whole um, engine just remove them and what you're gonna do now is just inspect them to see the condition of the plugs uh, mine are really black so I mean, I'm running pretty rich. I've already known that. Um, but yeah, so the next thing you're going to do now is get your new plug and gap the plug to the specific gap, which I'll show you right now. Alright, so these are the plugs I went with. Um, these are NGKRs. I'm using um, right here BKR6Es. Um, these are pretty much the uh, copper tip. Um, the ones I have right now on my car are iridium, so I'm just going to try out to see which one works better. Um, my heat range is 6, so this is recommended for stock setup, so which is what I have. Um, and the next thing you're going to do is remove it and gap the plug to the specific gap. We're going to gap uh, the spark plug using a spark plug gapper. Um, I got this from O'Reilly's. It's the same thing whether you got it from AutoZone um, or wherever. Um, but you just want to look at the increments of your, of your gauge. And my increments are in 1. So basically if the minimum is 0.28, basically I know that from 0.30 I have to go gap it to the second line before 0.30. Um, it's kind of hard to see. These are super small, so you just have to know how to use one of these gauges. Kind of, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But the point is, is that you want to get it to where you're at 0.28. So basically, the middle of the um, spark plug here is going to line up to 0.28, and then um, you'll go from there. Uh, you can go anywhere between 0.28 to 0.30, depending on your stock setup or your you know how much booster you're pushing. Um, the higher the boost, you can um, go to the minimum number. 
Um, but since I'm at a pure stock setup, I'm gonna go to the middle of that. So I'm probably gonna gap my uh, spark plugs to 0 0.30 and see how that works. Um, but yeah, so you're pretty much gonna do that for all four. It's gonna be repetitive, so that's pretty much it. And um, basically install the reverse order. I think uh, it's recommended that these are tied to 22 foot pounds. Um, so just get a good firm, um, a good firm uh, seal on these when you install them, and um, you should be good to go. Uh, I like to put uh, anti seize on the threads as well as like uh, some dielectric grease on the uh, back end of the spark plug just to make sure everything's cool. But yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you learned something from it. Um, I'll leave some information on the descriptions so that you can watch it and just read it. Um, but yeah. So hope to see you guys soon. Deuce.